Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make developer products in Roblox Studio. So what we're going to do is make a plus 100 cash and plus uh, 250 cash uh, developer product. You can make as many as you want and for whatever you want. I'm just going to show that as an example. Now if I hit play, what you'll see that I've already got done in this project is a plus one cash button, which gives you one cash in the leader stats every time I click it. So to start under starter GUI, we're going to add in a screen GUI, which I will just rename this to product GUI. And in here, I'm going to add in a text button. I'll rename this text button to say something like 100 cash. We'll make the size, just design it however you want. I'm not going to go into too much detail with all of this, because at the end of the day, design is completely up to you. Maybe I'll just make the text white, and I'll make the text say plus 100 cash. Uh, we can scale it up, maybe make it bold, and we'll add like a UI corner or something just for a bit of nicer looks. Now we will duplicate this and drag it down, and this will be plus. Uh, this will we'll rename this to 250 cash, and we'll make the text say plus 250 cash. And you can make as many of these as you would like. It's completely up to you, and they don't have to be for cash. They can be for anything. You can make them give you items, I'm not going to cover that today, it's a bit more complicated, but very similar, it'll be the same sort of code, just you're going to change the code which gives you the cash into code which gives you an item. Okay, now we're going to get started with the product service, so under service script service we're going to add a script which we will rename to product handler, and in here we are going to say local players equals game colon get service players so we've got the players service now after the local players we're going to need to say local marketplace service equals game colon get service marketplace service this is where we're going to access the marketplace to uh, sell the developer products now down here we're going to make a local cash one id which will be equal to i'm just going to set it to zero for now and a local cash two id set to zero as well Cash one ID of course will be the plus 100 cash, cash two ID will be the 250 cash. We will change these IDs when we create the developer products later on in the video. Now here we're going to process the receipt. So we'll say marketplace service dot process receipt equals function receipt info. What this will do is whenever uh, the player goes to process a developer product purchase, we're going to call this function and we're going to pass in the info of the purchase. Now this info, this info will include things like the um, player ID, the product ID, and things like that. Now make sure you spell everything exactly how you see it here, or it will not work. We'll say local player or PLR for short equals players colon get player by user ID, and here we'll say receipt info dot player ID spelled exactly like that with the capitalization correct as well, or this will not work. Next we'll say if not player then, so if the player doesn't actually exist, we're going to return enum dot product purchase decision dot not processed yet. And this will basically tell them that the purchase hasn't been made because the player didn't exist, so we're going to tell the server to not charge them or give them anything in return. Next we will then say if receipt info dot product id once again spelled exactly like that equals cash one id then here will be our code we'll come back to that in a minute and then we'll say else if receipt info dot product id equals cash two id then and we'll have code in here as well which we'll come back to in a minute now of course the more you have the more else if statements you're going to have but after this if statement right at the bottom after this last end we're going to say return enum dot product purchase decision dot purchase granted because if we're giving once we've given them the money or the cash or whatever we want to per grant the purchase so that um, the server knows that it's been purchased now in this code under cash one id what i'm going to want to do is say player dot leader stats dot cash dot value plus equals 100 so this will give the player 100 cash if you do whatever you want the product the product to do and this one here i'll say player dot leader stats dot cash dot value plus equals 250 
because 100 and 250 we want to give them the correct amount of cash and then we will return the purchase granted product purchase decision now what we'll do is under uh, the 100 cash button we're going to add a local script and inside of this local script once again we need the local player equals game dot players dot local player uh, we need the lo the marketplace service so local marketplace service equals game colon get service marketplace service and we need the product ID so local product ID equals once again this will be zero we only need one ID in here because we're going to have one of these scripts per button now what we'll say is script dot parent dot mouse button one click colon connect function so when the button is clicked we're going to call this function and in here we'll say marketplace service colon prompt product purchase passing in the player and the product id now we can duplicate this local script and put it under the 250 cache and we can leave everything as it is okay so what you need to do is go under your creator dashboard and find your project and then under associated items click on developer products now i've actually got a lot of these from previous videos i don't think you can actually delete them so we're just going to leave them there for now i'm not sure if you can or not but you can't just click this and delete so if you can delete them it's not as easy as that but anyway what we're going to do is create a developer product this will be plus 100 cash uh, you can upload an image that is up to you i'm not going to and i'm going to set the price to uh, 25 robux and i'm going to hit create developer product we'll then also create a new one for plus 250 cash and I'll set this to 50 Robux. Now you'll see under these two game passes, you have an ID here. This is your uh, product ID. You want to copy these IDs and put, paste them into the scripts. So I've got the 100 ID. I'm going to put that under this product ID and in the product handler, put that as cash one ID. And now I've got the second ID, which I'm going to do the exact same with. Okay, and now that we've pasted all the IDs in, if we now hit test and play, uh, I believe this should work so you see we've got uh, 10 cash uh, let's get plus 100 cash this should give us 110 and it does okay we'll buy it again to give us 210 just to show we can buy this as many times as you'd like and now let's get 250 cash this should put us at 460 which it does perfect and we can buy that multiple times as well so we'll buy it again and that should put us at 710 and it does perfect so we know that works um, and that's really it to uh, develop a product. You can make as many of these as you would like. I hope you found this video helpful, everyone. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.